In order to compete in this world, we need to provide our students with a specific type of training, giving them the training with online tools, giving them the training with certain types of technology that are going to prepare them for their future in this ever-changing world. In my classroom, we use um, MacBooks. Uh, each kid has their own MacBook um, in all of my classes, and then we have a class set of iPads for the students to use as well. Probably the most common form of technology in, in the classroom at North Hills is going to be the smart, uh, smart board and the projector. Uh, we use that pretty much every day when it comes for lessons and lectures and things of that nature. Um, for watching video clips, PowerPoint presentations, uh, that's going to get used just about daily. The projector in a way also through class um, every single day, um, projecting things through my MacBook, whether it's documents, whether it's video, um, sometimes I'm using the smart board as something simply to project upon, but most often it's something that I use uh, to write on. Students have access to a fully functional production studio. Uh, they participate in every level of the production process, starting with planning, uh, studio production, and then post-production using uh, high-end Macintosh computers. I use uh, several technologies in my classroom. One, I use uh, the smart board. I also use the document camera and TI-84 graphing calculators. We do a lot in the manner of working with uh, podcasting. We do a lot in uh, posting lessons up online. Students are able to possibly be sick from school, be able to go online, access a teacher delivering a lesson or access um, a teacher talking about the lesson or, or content that was covered during that school day that, uh, that a child missed because of absence. I think for the students at North Hills it's enhanced the process in the sense that it makes it a little bit more welcoming uh, maybe than coming in and, and seeing the old time uh, projector, um, transparency projector and, and things of that nature. It allows them to come up and, and, and mess around with things that we're doing. It engages them more in the process and they're able to learn more fluently and have a better understanding of the content that we're trying to deliver. It's become a, a much more creativity based course instead of um, just here's the content go ahead and memorize it and then tell me what you memorized. So the kids are able to create projects because of the technology to show us um, what they've learned. The technology allows students to uh, easily produce high quality uh, material that will be distributed on our television channel as well as uh, various um, outlets on the internet. Uh, I think it enhances the educational process because it gives students um, a way to experience the material in various modes. Certainly you have a lot of students who are audio and visually learners and so allowing to get YouTube clips, just some songs um, with, uh, with projects that we're doing, allowing students to make movie projects sometimes like we've done in creative writing classes, um, I, think, I think that's enhanced it, made it more of a, uh, a real world tangible experience for them. Our students have grown up in, in a world with rich types of technology available at their fingertips. No longer do we have just PCs, it's worked their way down into handheld devices. Our students need to be challenged, they need to be equipped with those types of skills and, and learn how to operate those in a manner that extends them beyond the classroom walls. Students get an uh, authentic experience with uh, production here. Um, it prepares them for uh, their future, possibly moving into media arts at the college level. Um, they can also leave here and uh, work in low-level internships uh, out in the field. Today, the kids are going to need to go out after they graduate and have a skill set that we never had um, when I was in high school and graduating high school. And so beyond teaching the content of biology, the kids are able to um, pick up on technology skills and learn how to use the different types of equipment that they're going to have at their disposal after they leave North Hills.